that uh, the, the EU has been doing the right things since 2009 in building interconnections between pipelines, in expanding the storage network, in diversifying gas supplies, namely by creating an infrastructure that can receive liquefied natural gas from for new supplies. Uh, and as was just said, uh, one of the step backwards was the European Commission's decision of uh, October 20th, 2016, to give Gazprom more capacity on the Opal gas pipeline, which carries gas, as was said, from the North Stream pipeline under the Baltic Sea to customers in Germany and the Czech Republic. Fortunately, the Polish company PGNIG and the Polish government has appealed to the European uh, Court of Justice, which has rendered a decision on December 23, 2016, to suspend the decision of the European Commission. I hope that the uh, European Commission and the EU member states will reconsider seriously this decision, which uh, weakens substantially uh, the energy security in the OSC region and will forego that uh, uh, decision. Why is it necessary to uh, reduce dependency on Russian gas? I think that uh, the answer is again simple and clear. The Russian Federation has repeatedly, historically used Russian gas as a political weapon in violation of its international commitments. I would name just one. Uh, when Ukraine gave up its nuclear arsenal, uh, the uh, Russian Federation, together with the U.S. and the United Kingdom of Great Britain, uh, signed the Budapest Agreement, which does not only uh, entail military issues, but Article 3 clearly binds all the signatories uh, to re uh, that reaffirm their commitment to Ukraine in accordance with the principles of the CC. CSC Final Act to refrain from economic coercion designed to subordinate to their own interests the exercise by Ukraine of the rights inherent in its sovereignty and thus to secure advantages of any kind. Well, I don't think the ink had dried on the Budapest agreement that Russia was repeatedly threatening to either shut off gas or to increase prices in order to stop Ukraine's movement uh, towards Europe and the signing of the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement. The Russian Federation has actually shut off gas to Ukraine following westward political movement by Ukraine, its governing authorities, in 2006, 2008, and 2009. We all remember the unfortunate Kharkiv Agreement of 2010 when President, former President Viktor Yanukovych granted a 20-year extension to the Russian Black Seas fleet in Crimea for a discounted price of gas. And <coughs> you know the rest of that sad story. Uh, regarding Europe, because it's not just an issue between the Russian Federation and Ukraine, in January 2009, the Russian Federation created a serious energy crisis by turning up the gas for 13 days because of a pricing dispute with Ukraine, which caused severe hardship to various European countries, particularly in, the, in Southern Europe. In 2014 and 15, Gazprom cut 50% of daily exports in order to undermine their reverse gas supplies from the EU to Ukraine. According to the Swedish Defense Research Agency, over the period of 1991 to 2004, the Russian Federation shut off gas supply to Central and Eastern Europe and the Baltic countries 40 times for political reasons. The Russian uh, Federation has clearly shown recently its total disdain for international agreements and covenants and blatantly violating the UN Charter, the Budapest Agreement, the Minsk Agreements, and violating Ukraine's territorial integrity and blatantly violating human rights 
both in eastern Ukraine and in Crimea. For all those who say that it is impossible not to depend on Russian gas, I say to you that Ukraine had reached 92% in Ukrainian imports in 2013, its dependency on Russian gas, which was reduced to 74% in 2014 to 37% in 2015, and over the period of November 2015 to November 2016, to an absolute zero. So I think the choice is very clear. I think if the EU wants to live constantly under the pressure of the whims of an authoritarian, corrupt leader with imperialist ambitions, it should continue along the lines of the European Commission with the OPA pipeline. If it wants to be able to decide things without being threatened constantly by either price hikes, threatened that gas will be shut off, or actually experiencing gas shutoffs, it should diversify and it should considerably reduce its dependency and ideally totally uh, reduce their consumption of Russian gas. Thank you.